Hi guys, it's Sarah from Tough Girl Challenges. I'm doing a few video vlogs about my upcoming challenge, the Marathon de Saab. So six marathons in six days across the Sahara Desert. At the moment, I said there's about four days to go before I head off and I'm in the preparation stage. So I've just got equipment and food and bags and everything just around me. But I thought I'd take this opportunity just to tell you a little bit more about what I'm taking, why I'm taking it, to also to help me remember um, in the future. So this is going to be all about my sleeping. So what I've got here is the fantastic vertical Trek light sleeping bag. This sleeping bag was came highly recommended. So one of the things you probably should know about me is I hate the cold. Being cold is like my worst nightmare. Actually, scrap that. Being cold and wet is like the most horrendous thing for me. I just cannot stand it. And that's one of the reasons I headed over to Melbourne to go and train in the sunshine and the warmth and to get away from the UK winters. So this sleeping bag came recommended. It is expensive. It was, I think it was £170, but um, it's basically the lighter sleeping bag and the warmer sleeping bag because there's, a, there's always an offset when you're buying equipment for races like this. If you had all the money in the world, you'd obviously just go for the smallest and lightest and the best of everything. When you don't and you are constrained financially, there is that balancing act between, right, how much do I pay and then how much how much um, weight do, am I prepared to carry? Like what's the what's the balance? And this was the best balance for me. Now a couple of interesting things about the sleeping bag is I really like actually on the front. There's actually got this little pocket which is great. So in there I'm going to be able to put my eye mask to make help me sleep at night. I'm also going to be able to put in there uh earplugs as well so these are come highly recommended just in case there are any snorers in the tent so how the tent works is basically there's eight people in a tent off you go that's it so uh so with the with the sleeping bag it's got a hood really nice hood um it's got arms down the side which you can unzip so that's quite cool on both sides now one of the reasons i actually really like the sleeping bag was it actually as well as being a sleeping bag and it's super warm, super light. It also turns into a jacket. So to turn it into a jacket, all you need to do is you go to the very bottom of the sleeping bag, unzip that all the way through to the top, and then unzip it here, like that. Okay, so we're now open at the top. If you then fold the sleeping bag in half, or the bottom half, what you can you see? You can see these like two little uh, labels. So you fold them up to there and then you fold these labels up to the front. Now and inside, you can see this, so this is the hood. They've got these little red hooks here. So there's one on each side. And all you do with these labels is you basically just hook, hook them through. So really easy, really simple. Hook that through there on one side. Hook this through on the other side. Okay. Now I've unzipped, I've unzipped the arms and on both sides. Now if I basically just turn this around, put my arm through, put my arm through, put my hood up. What I've actually got now is a very nice gilet or jacket. So, and then to zip it down, you're obviously just going to zip it at the top and then let me see if I can do that. bit of okay so this mostly takes a little bit of fiddling around oh there we go okay let's caught it well I was saying it was slightly easy so okay then we'll zip it down and there we go I've got a nice little jacket I was looking for pockets there to put my hands in um but yeah that's pretty pretty happy with that so I can walk around camp and yeah it'll keep me nice and warm now the other thing that I've got is a sleeping mat because apparently the ground can be really rocky and I want to make sure that I can get the best sleep possible again it's a trade-off though between what do you take what does it cost and how much is it going to weigh so I found this online and it's called the Therma the Therma Rest Z seat now I think it's normally just for sitting but it's quite small and it is incredibly light. It hardly weighs anything. Now, what I was going to do with this as well, is so basically I was just going to use this to sort of support 
um, like my ribs and like my bottom so if my legs will be fine sort of off the mat and I'll have a pillow now the other benefit of having something of this size is if we go to my backpack um, I talk about my backpack in another video so go and check it out if you want to learn more about the raid light backpack is that this will actually fit in around the back now what that will actually do is this will give me more padding and support down the back and actually make it much more comfortable when I've got other things in. So that's what I'm going to be sleeping on. Now, the other thing that was highlighted to me, people said, take a pillow, take a pillow. So went on Amazon, did my Googling, did my research and found a pillow. So this is actually like an electronic, not electronic, it sort of automatically fills up. It's called your pillow. I don't hear that. So when I say it automatically fills up, it slightly increases so you actually need to um, you actually need to blow into it so so two or three blows and there you have a really really nice size pillow which is actually super super comfortable so I really like that the only problem with this is potentially the size and the weight it's quite it is quite light but it does take up quite a bit of space so I have my second option, which was a $4.99 option. It's made of that, you know, that gross sort of like velvety material, which just feels horrendous on one side. Then on the other, it's sort of the plastic. Um, I haven't actually blowed this up, but potentially this could be coming with me instead of my gorgeous, nice, fabulous pillow um, because it is so much lighter and it takes up a lot less room. So that's that when this comes down. Whereas if I... Um, if I empty this, it basically does this. It's sort of got like extra sort of padding in. It's quite, it's quite sort of chunky. So, and it feels like quite, um, quite full. So this is one SH online, and it's called Your Pillow. So I mean, it does feel absolutely lovely. If weight wasn't an issue, I'd highly recommend it. But because of the weight, I'm quite sort of skeptical about it. I mean, it does roll down that's still pretty it's still pretty a large um a large size when you compare it there's almost no comparison because that's basically as small as i can get it i might be able to get it a tad smaller but that is pretty much it so that's what i've got sorted for my sleeping arrangement and if push comes to shove i may have to get rid of the pillow and i'll just use my sleeping bag but what i wanted to do sorry not use my sleeping bag was use my backpack as a pillow uh, but what I wanted to do with my backpack was actually to have my feet on it to raise my feet up at the end to have sort of um, get the blood flowing in a different way. So sleeping arrangement, loving the sleeping bag, I think it's absolutely amazing, but I will give you a full review after the MDS and tell you if it kept me warm or not. Enjoy the rest of the videos. Do go and check out the website, toughgirlchallenges.com. You'll also be able to track me when I run the MDS. My number is 1213.